Authentication is the precursor to authorization using RBAC. Authentication helps us recognize whether the party that is trying to access a system is a human user or a service account. In Kubernetes, authentication comes in many forms and is highly configurable, which essentially leads to authentication methods that are either broken or very insufficient. The top six in the OWASP Kubernetes top 10 list is broken authentication mechanisms. Some examples of broken authentication mechanisms include rolling your own authentication, usage of certificates for authentication, humans as creating, managing, and revoking certificates can be difficult. Incorrect usage of OAuth for authentication when OpenID Connect should be employed. Lack of signature verifications and other validations in bearer tokens. Lack of multi-factor authentication. Usage of tokens that have a longer life. Here are some ways to reduce the risk of broken authentication mechanisms. Using certificates to authenticate human users to the cluster is very difficult to manage whale certificates are a good candidate for machine-to-machine -machine authentication scenarios where a service wants to authenticate to another service. Use of multi-factor authentication for human users wherever possible. Restrict the usage of service accounts from outside the cluster as service accounts cannot be bound to groups and they never expire. Employing techniques such as OpenID Connect or ODIC for external services to authenticate and then issuing short-lived tokens after authentication would help in mitigating the risk of broken authentication. All right, that's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.